Hey everyone, welcome to Data Millennials. I am Atul and I am super excited to talk about SQL Any and All Operator in today's video. So before we go and write some queries on it, let's talk about the difference between Any and All Operator and what exactly is this SQL Any and All Operator. So this Any and All Operator are used with a WHERE clause or a HAVING clause and that is the mandatory condition that whenever we will be using the Any clause, we have to use either the having clause or the where statement while the any operator returns true if any of the subquery values meet the condition so you can use any operator with the subquery only as well as the all operator will always be used with the subquery only the only difference between this any and all operator is that the all operator will return true if all of the subqueries value meet the condition so Right now, it will be difficult for you to understand what exactly is the difference between any and all operator. So let's go and write a simple query to understand what is the difference between them and how exactly this any and all operator is used in SQL. So suppose I have a table, subscriber base, and there is another table, a product is subscriber. So let's go and run this table first to understand the data. So in this subscriber base table, I have all the details of subscribers and I'm taking subscriber ID and first name from this table. So let's put select a star here so that you can see all the details of this table. So I have given select a star from email data dot subscriber base and if I run this query, you will have 150 rows returned and you will, and you will see that you will have all the records or all the details of a particular subscriber. Now let's go and select only first name and, and the subscriber ID from this table. And again, we have another table, which is this product A subscriber. So this table provides us detail that which subscribers have subscribed to a particular product, right? And that product is A. So we have the subscriber ID here and this subscriber ID is a duplicated row. So a single subscriber might receive multiple emails on a certain number of days, right? So from 1st January 2022 to 10th January 2022, suppose you are a subscriber, you have received every single day you have received an email, right? So your record will be 10 times here saying that this particular person have received email on this particular day. Then again, whenever you received an email, your record will be present in this particular table right so now what we have to do is that we have to find out if any of the subscriber id which is present in this table then you have to get the details from this subscriber base so the condition is pretty simple is that if any of this subscriber which is present in this product a subscriber table we have to get their details and whether it doesn't matter that whether they have received that promotional mail or not but still we are using any condition or this any sorry this any operator here so we have to put a where condition so what i'll do simply is that first i will write the subquery which says select subscriber id from email from email data dot product a subscriber where promotional mail is equal to yes so now if i run this query okay you will okay there is an error which says that there is a typo error in promotional mail or you can say a spelling error so now if i run this query you received 537 rows right and if i put a distinct over here and now let's run this query so we have received 72 rows so we have 72 distinct subscribers who have product a and now Let's treat this query as a subquery for our 
any operator for the use of our any operator so what we'll do is that we'll put select this particular thing subscriber id comma first name from email data dot subscriber base okay and then we'll put a where condition where where subscriber id in subscribe subscriber id is equal to any and now we'll put this particular query as a subquery okay so what it what this query will do is that it will take any of the subscriber id which is present in this table whether they have promotional email yes or no and it will put as a condition over this query so if i run this query you will get 72 records because all of those people who are present in subscriber base are already subscribed to product a even though if i put no here you will get the same result 72 so this means that the any operator returns true if any of the value meets the condition so it doesn't matter what the condition is but if you have to get any kind of detail if the subscriber id is present in the sub queries table then you have to use any operator while the all operator is completely opposite of this any operator this all operator returns true if all of the sub query value meets the particular condition now let's talk about this and write the query for that so instead of this any we'll simply put all here rest all of those things remain same and if i put all here and let's run this query then we will receive zero rows reason being is that the following sql statement returns true and the list of product name if all the record in the product a subscriber table has promotional mail equal to yes but that is not true a single subscriber id might receive an email suppose uh, on first of the month while the same subscriber id will not receive a certain email for product a on let's say on second or third day of the month so the condition doesn't match here right so this example will return false so this condition with this all will always return false because not all record in the product a subscriber table has promotional mail equal to yes reason being is that that the single subscriber id will have multiple value against the promotional mail saying that a single user on a per certain day will have yes on its promotional mail while the value of promotional mail will change on a day basis so that is the difference between all and any operator if you want to learn more about sql then you can click on the right side of this video or if you want to learn about excel you can click on the left side of this video happy learning and see you in the next video